Well, as a kid, I was pretty flawed, a lot like Greg, full of imperfections. And in fact, I think that's the fun of Diary of a Wimpy Kid is that this is a kid who thinks this is the best possible time to record his own life. You know, of course, it's the worst time. There are a lot of protagonists in children's literature who are heroes. They're like miniature adults. My books are more like a mirror. I'm trying to, I'm trying to have kids see their own lives. You know, my books are, are sort of like a stand-up comedy routine where somebody talks about something relatable. Book 13, The Meltdown, is a really different kind of Wimpy Kid book because it's kind of the war book. Uh, in each Wimpy Kid book, I try to tackle a different aspect of childhood. In this one, I'm tackling conflict. So in Greg's neighborhood, uh, it snows, and the snow turns the neighborhood into a battlefield. So there are betrayals and alliances and, you know, and all sorts of skirmishes, and then, of course, a big epic fight at the end. Every so often when I'm signing books, I'll meet a kid who, for whom these books seem to be really important and the books might have helped them through a certain problem or given them a character they could relate to or maybe even propelled them on to become lifelong readers, hopefully. So I think in so much as these books help kids on that path, I'm, I'm very proud of that.